Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 action science fiction film Monsters of Man. The film was written and directed by Mark Toyer and it stars Neil McDonough, Brett Tutor, Joe Rosetta and David Havertet. And the film focuses on, well I guess you could call it like a military experiment out in Asia and the military and the CIA have developed these military robots that you would drop in landing zones who would then take out the enemies and they want to test them out and their plan is to test these robots out on a remote village that is being run by uh, drug runners I guess uh, they think it's collateral damage that no one will care about and it'll be a good testing site for these new military robots what they don't expect is that there is a group of medical students out there that end up in this village and get embroiled in um, this experiment and then the people behind the experiment have no choice but to essentially take everybody out so that there are no witnesses. So what are my thoughts on Monsters of Man? Well I have to say this is one of those films that took me a little bit by surprise. Um, I didn't expect to enjoy this one as much as I did uh, this this really does come highly recommended, certainly by me. I really, really enjoyed it. There's an awful lot here to enjoy. It's not without its flaws, obviously. I think the film is a little bit long. It clocks in at about 2 hours, 10 minutes, something like that. Uh, it could have done with a good 20, 25 minutes being shaved off this runtime to make it snap a little bit faster. Um, you get too many scenes of these people running through the jungle away from these robots uh, and you kind of see the same scenes over and over again so that I think they could have trimmed it down a little bit um, it doesn't have a great introduction to the film uh, it it's overly long and again I think they could have trimmed that down or uh, started the story a little bit better uh, the introduction to characters is a little bit confusing and uh, the initial feeling certainly from my perspective towards the medical students where they were deeply unlikable and really entitled um, granted as the film moves on you do become a little bit more attached to these characters and feel empathy for them um, and the, for me the film gives quite a powerful message embroiled in all the action and all the effects and all this kind of stuff there's actually quite, quite a, a deep message going on in the film as well and it doesn't pull any punches and certainly any emotional any emotional punches it's not afraid of showing uh, the horror of war and it, the effects war have on people um, and I do commend it for that it doesn't just go try, try and go for cheap thrills um, that people are just gonna wanna see killer robots kill people at the very core you get that in the film but it is done in a way that actually makes it really watchable um, and it's quite well written the film as well the cinematography on display here I think is really beautiful at times it's filmed beautiful, the location is beautiful lots of jungle, lots of old ruins and it feels like a maze, you know what I mean that they're running through trying to escape um, so there's, there's really loads to enjoy here and top of that list is the effects I think for these military robots they looked fantastic I mean for a, a pretty low budget film this um, I really didn't expect the effects to be as good as they were these these machines looked weighty they moved how you expected them to they reacted to things how you would expect them to they felt like they existed today with today's technology um, and you really bought them uh, and they were really quite menacing I also liked as well that they asked some interesting questions here about the meaning of life and all this kind of stuff because one of these robots kind of has an accident and it, as a result of that it pretty much becomes self aware and it's asking a lot of questions if you like um, so the the film's not even afraid to ask those questions and so it, it puts these layers into the film that it didn't need to you could argue because other films would have just like I say gone for the killer robot route you know kill 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 um, and enjoy yourself this doesn't it gives you those things but it also gives you some interesting questions uh, to answer as well which I really really appreciated 
Um, there's there's plenty of people to rail against here in the film in regards to the bad guys and things like that. You know, the people sat in the office giving the orders out. Neil McDonough being one of them. Um, and there's a military guy that's watching over these tech people, the geeks that created these robots that are running them remotely. Um, there's a military guy controlling them who, you know, is is a little bit pantomime, I suppose you could argue. A little bit over the top in, in regards to his villainous role. But it's it's there's no denying that it's an effective role and you really want him to get his comeuppance. Um, so, yeah, and there's some really nice relationship moments here in the film. There's like an ex-Navy SEAL in this village that's helping out who gets, him, gets um, pulled into this situation. And he's desperate to protect the woman that he cares about in the village and her son the medical students all rally together and fight for their lives and you see their relationships develop throughout the film um, so it's it really gives you someone to root for here in the film it gives you some impressive villains here in the film and the ones in the middle are actually these robots that essentially are just being controlled for the most part um, there's there are some technical things in the film in a sense of you know it keeps giving you scenes of this data being uploaded and the satellite links breaking and this breaking and that's not working and it, you kind of think oh i'm not interested in that but i think like i say with a good 25 minutes shaved off this film it would have been a bit sharper and a bit moved a bit faster but i have to say i think it's a really effective film this and i did enjoy it and i think if you give it a chance you will probably enjoy it too so i'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 definitely worth checking out as a film I certainly enjoyed so thank you very much for watching everybody if you like the video don't forget to click the like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing I will be back with more content on the channel very very soon